On Sunday, I gave a whole lot of revelation about wealth. How many people enjoyed the sermon? A whole lot of things about wealth and um, some of the signs for you to know that your finances is under attack, your wealth is under attack. It's, um, when you get a dream and your money is missing, your phone is missing, your car is missing, your key is missing, your bag is missing, or these items I mentioned has been snatched away from you. Your money, your phone, your car, your key, your bag has been snatched away from you. It's an attack on your wealth. When you get a dream and um, you see the face of a rat or a mouse, it means there's an attack on your wealth. Or you see a rat or mouse chewing something. You didn't know the rat mouse was chewing or you saw what was chewing. There's an attack as well. When you, being, when you see dream and you are picking coins, the coins are brown. They are no gold coins. It's not good. They are not good coins. It's not good. When you see that your money has been snatched, when you see that there are holes in a bag, when you are picking notes of money but they don't have full value, it means your wealth is also under attack. When you get a dream and you are eating pepper, chewing pepper, it's an attack on your, on your finances, poverty attack. When you are picking old notes or small notes, when you get a dream and you are fighting your destiny helper, when you get a dream and you are fighting your destiny helper. Oh, sir, there's some chairs over here. Why are they struggling here? Nah. the dream and you are fighting your customer who buys from you it's also very dangerous when you get the dream and a mad person is snatching something away from you attack on your success and your wealth now when you get the dream and you see some of these things to me your wealth is just close to you coming very very soon when you are receiving when you are picking or when you are finding money finding bag holding car phone a key when you are picking it up, you are receiving it. You just found it. It was missing. You found it. Blessing is coming. You are picking new set of keys. You are receiving them. Somebody is giving it to you. It's very good as well. You see fresh notes of money, nice notes, foreign currency. It means wealth is coming your way. When you see that a mouse or a rat is dead, it's also good. When you are picking gold coins, when you are picking gold coins, it's also good. Amen. And um, Thursday, Friday, I will get time to teach you about the spirit against prosperity. There are eight different spirits against prosperity. One of them is called the Midianite spirit. Midianite spirit. When you begin that thing, you don't get attack. When the thing begins to grow, attacks come. The Midianites, when the people of Israel planted their corn, they will never come. When it gets to harvest time, they show up and come and squander everything. So when you make money, when, when your money has not come, nothing will disturb you. The moment your money comes, they will call you. Auntie is sick. Mommy is sick. Your car is broken down. The plumber wants to come and fix the pipe. This thing has happened. Your best friend will look for money. And you are the one that has to come and borrow from you. It's Midianite spirit. The spirit of almost there. The spirit of almost there. When you are getting close to closing the deal, something shows up. The spirit of at the top. When you rise up to the top, calamity hits you. Death at success. Another spirit. Death at success. When success comes, death shows up. Sickness at success. When you are at your most success point, sickness shows up. And this is one of the dangerous ones, dangerous spirit. Prosperity over God. Before the money came, before the person made it, they loved God so very much. When money came, they don't want to hear anything about God. The devil wants to attract, attract and finish you. The other one is called nothing left for children. You can make money by the time you're supposed to give something to your children. There is nothing there. And the other one, losing money, losing your wealth through misfortune. Anything that will happen that one time you will lose everything is very dangerous. Losing through misfortune is in Exodus chapter 5 verse number 14. And let's look at it. I'm just doing a few recap. And um, chapter 5. It says, but those riches perish. Give me an IV. 
KGV. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Or wealth lost through some misfortune, so that when he has a son, there is nothing left for him. So wealth was there, but the individual lost it. I pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. That, that spirit will never fight your life. Amen. It will never disturb you in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the grace of God, yes, may the Lord. power of God, Amen. may the strength of God, Jesus. may the God of all power, God of all strength, Jesus. God of all authority, sustain your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you never lose. Jesus. May you never suffer. Amen. May the altar remember your life on every side Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout, I am blessed. I am blessed. Amen. So lift up this direction. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let of God hear me. There are many directions we have done over here. And we only ask people to take money, give it out to anybody that is struggling, and that was the end of their crisis. Believe this direction well, and make sure you don't you don't change this money. You make sure you don't change it till Friday. If you keep bringing it and another one, it will not work. And after every service, whether I remember or not, touch the altar with it. Touch the altar with it. Lift up that five CD. Lift up that five CD. Say as I give out. As I give out to the needy. To the needy. Oh God. Oh God. Help my life. Help my life. As I give out. As I give out. To the needy. To the needy. Save me. Save me. From pain. From pain. Save me. Save me. From crisis. From crisis. Save me. Save me. From agony. From agony. As I give out. As I give out. To the needy. To the needy. Have mercy. Have mercy. On my life. On my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now keep it. Keep it. Keep it secured. Keep it secured. Keep it secured. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 2. Let's look back at the gift of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 6, um, verse 2. Uh, I want all of us to read it together in, in confidence, in unison. One, two, three, let's go. God gives a man's wealth, possessions, and honor, so that he lacks nothing his heart desires. But God does not enable him to enjoy them. Somebody gets everything they need in life. They get property. They get, they get wealth. They get everything that they need. Everything that they will ever need in life. They receive everything. But God does not enable them to enjoy. For you to enjoy whatever is yours, God has to enable you. So long as you have the money, does not mean you can enjoy it. There's a grace that has to come on you to enable you to enjoy it. Other people to receive it and they are able to also enjoy two types of people. So the, the people in six verse two that they don't enjoy, they don't and you say they don't enjoy. They don't enjoy. Now it is up chapter five, verse 19. Five verse 19. So the chapter six up the people who don't enjoy, who don't enjoy. Now, those who enjoy, it happens because God places something on them. It is called the gift of God. And everybody in the spiritual realm is supposed to carry that gift of God over your life. So now let's read this one. Let's go. Moreover, when God gives any man wealth and possession yeah. and enables him to enjoy them. So have you seen the difference? Some people get it. God doesn't enable them to enjoy. Some people also get it and God enables them to enjoy. He said to accept his lot and be happy in his work. He said this is a gift of God. So every day when you are praying, I said it on Sunday, when you are praying, don't tell God to give you prosperity. Say, God, give me the ability to enjoy. Ability to enjoy. Ability to enjoy. Because you can, you can look for it. It can come. But can you enjoy it? It's called the gift of God. The difference between the one who enjoyed the prosperity and the one who couldn't enjoy is that one of them carried the gift of God. As I place this mantle on my head now, do you have your mantle here? Put it on your head. In a spiritual way to represent the gift of God. The gift of God. Place it on your head right now. You've gotten this mantle for free. Bring it to church always for free. Still. Place it on your head. Say, as I place the mantle on my head. As I place the mantle on my head. I carry. I carry. 
the gift of God. The gift of God. To enjoy. To enjoy. My wealth. My wealth. To enjoy. To enjoy. My success. My success. To enjoy. To enjoy. My greatness. My greatness. To enjoy. To enjoy. Whatever. Whatever. That belongs to me. Belongs to me. I enjoy. I enjoy. By the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. I enjoy. I enjoy. By the blessing of God. By the blessing of God. I enjoy. I enjoy. By the goodness of God. By the goodness of God. I enjoy. I enjoy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put it down. Proverbs 11 verse 4. Proverbs 11 verse 4. Message Bible, please. A thick bank account. The bank rule there is just your notes, your bank account. A thick bank account is no help when life is falling apart. When it gets to the last day of, the, of, of, of your life, no matter the account, nothing can happen for you. What will happen for you, what will happen to you, what will work for you is your generosity. Ask the person by you, are you generous? Are you generous? I can feel you. Are you generous? One more time. Are you generous? He says on that day, on that day, on that day, the money will not help you, but your generosity will help you. So this is the good thing. So in as much as the money cannot help you, money can also help you. Why? Because the same money you use to become generous. So I pray that God will still give you money. Amen. So that when life is falling apart, your generosity, your help, whatever you have done, that's what God will use to remember your destiny. Amen. That's in 22 verse 9. KGV and IV. I'll give you the last one. 22 verse 9 Proverbs. NIV. Let's go. He says, one, two, three, let's go. A generous man will himself be blessed. Mm -hmm. Because? For he shares his food with the poor. So the day that the life is falling apart, your generosity is what will bless you. I pray that may God remember you. Amen. May your generosity speak volumes for your life. Amen. And listen, when you have the mind of God for the kingdom of God, your mindset is that God bless me to bless your church. Bless me to build your church. Bless me to be a blessing to the church. God always gives you prosperity. Psalm 122 verse 9. Psalm 122 verse 9. What's your agenda about the things of God? I want to make money so that you buy hot house, Rolls Royce. All of them are very good. But your number one agenda should be here. Let's all read it. Let's see it. Let's go. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your prosperity. Again. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your prosperity. For the last time. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your prosperity. So what's your first point of reference when you want to seek prosperity? When you have this at the back of your mind, it will be coming to you north, south, east, and west. I speak that blessing over somebody. Amen. May the God of all grace. Jesus. May the God of all authority. Jesus. May God honor your life. Amen. And I declare over you, you will never beg before you eat. Amen. You will never beg before you eat. Amen. In the shadow of poverty, I take Jesus. it away from your life. Amen. In the shadow of poverty, I take it away from your life. Amen. Poverty will never be your portion. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. 22, the same 22 verse 7 Proverbs. 22 verse 7. Let's all read together. Let's see what, what, what goes on there. Let's go. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender. One more time. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender. For the last time. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender. This one, I can never preach about it. The answer is right there. May nobody rule over you. Amen. I said, may no, nobody, no shadow rule over you. Amen. Because whatever that will cause you to become broke, I take it away from you. Amen. May God remember your destiny. Amen. May God have mercy on you. Amen. May God remember your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I will never fall down in life. I will never fall down in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, poverty can let a person be miserable in life. When there is wealth, wealth is like a wall. You build a fortified wall, a city around you. When that wealth of wall is around you, there are so many things that cannot come close to you. The same 10 verse 15. 
the wealth of the rich man is his fortified city. Turn to verse 15. Turn to verse 15. Let's all read together. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city. It's your strong city. But the poverty, poverty is the ruin of the poor. The ruin is the destruction of the poor. So when the devil wants to destroy you, he will not come and destroy you. He will throw poverty on you. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow evening, I will show you one of the ways they throw poverty on a person. I've told you the only way to make money in life, never be lazy, be hardworking, and also be a generous giver. I gave you some direction that you're supposed to do on Sunday, but I'll show you that there's a, there's a kind of water I'll show you when they pour that water on you. They pour that water on you spiritually. It brings you poverty. I'll show you tomorrow. It's in the Bible. They pour that water. They, that's it. When that water is dropped on a person, when that water is dropped on a person, you can work very hard, but it can attack you tomorrow. Man of God, try to remind me that I'll show it that tomorrow. Now lift up your hands. I declare over everybody. Jesus. I speak over everybody. Yes, Lord. Let God of grace. Yes, Lord. Let God of authority. Jesus. May he touch your life. Amen. May he remember you. Amen. You will never suffer. Amen. You will never go broke. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands and bless God.